What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today, yes, I've hit 1,000 subscribers, woo! Alright, right up here will be a card, and that is a link to my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away a full 4-inch quadcopter that will be bind and fly to FR Scott, okay? And I might be able to make it bind and fly to Fly Sky, if you have Fly Sky, but uh, we can talk about that when we get to that. But mainly it's set up right now for FR Sky, a four inch quad. And here it is, right here, if you don't believe me. There is a four inch quad copter. It's got a Beta Flight F3, some drone drop ESCs, um, some Razor Star motors. You know, it ain't the best thing, it ain't the highest quality. It's like a Banggood frame that I kind of created. It's got some landing skids, a Monster uh, V2. Uh, you know, it's got a decent lens on it, but you know what? It flies, it works, it flies well, it's tuned okay. Uh, Mach 1 transmitter in there. Uh, you know, it's it's free, right? So, again, the card was in earlier on. Uh, go join that guy. I just hit a thousand subs, and I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna hang tight on that guy until for about a week or so, and make sure I kind of hold at that thousand, and then we're gonna give that guy away to somebody on that video. So, there you go. All right, now let's get into why you're probably here, the title of this video. We're going to look at the Hellgate buzzer. Where did the sticker go? I had the little card on top of here. I think there's a little card, and now I lost it. But anyway, this is the Hellgate FPV buzzer. All right, oh, way off frame. As you see right there, Hellgate buzzer, and this is the one that came in quad box. All right. Now, uh, let's see, I'll just show you real quick. So what you get in the package, you get a blue, red, and black wire. And I'll explain to that in a minute. You get a little sticky, like a little piece of sticky stuff. You can use that to stick it to something. And you get two pieces of this little heat shrink. I guess, I think this is heat shrink. It's a very stiff heat shrink. Oh yeah, it opens this way. So once you solder on your wires, you can uh, heat shrink you know, heat shrink the wires on there at the bottom. They should just attach those wires on there, but you know, whatever. And it comes in this little thing here. So let's get that out of the way. Now, I actually set this up on a drone yesterday, last night and I went out flying today and I tested it three or four times and it worked. It armed, it disarmed, and all that other good stuff. So now I'm having a problem and again, we'll get into that. So here we go. All right, so this thing's really simple. You got buzzer negative, five volts, and ground. So what you're gonna do is your buzzer negative and your positive Okay, they're gonna go to your buzzer minus and your buzzer positive on your flight controller, right? This ground is just gonna to go to a regular ground on the flight controller, any ground on your flight controller. Now these two, so this wire right here, your buzzer negative is basically gonna turn it into a standard buzzer for your drone, right? So this and you know, this and your, obviously the five volts. When this, this is the, the, the negative of the buzzer is what actually makes the buzzer buzz. It has a like a resistor in there or whatever the case and it pulses and it makes the tone or whatever it's you know it's a special pad that's why buzzer negative is is important you really can hook the five volts to anything but it's that negative buzzer negative is where all the signal comes from from when you flick a switch or all your tones and your stuff that come from the flight controller uh, this ground here is going to go right to just a regular any ground and the five volt in the ground is what's gonna activate, deactivate, and also keep the battery charged. So the point of this is, it has a little LiPo battery, you can see under the bottom, all right? It has a little LiPo battery on the bottom, and what this does is this, when, it's, when your quad is on, it'll keep that charged up, and when your battery disconnects, it goes into this little cycle. So it makes this little click that I'll show you in a second, and then after a certain amount of time, it starts beeping, and now it'll, it has its own battery, so it can beep away on its own. So if you eject the battery, or the battery disconnects, you can find your drone. For, to me, it's a brilliant concept, a brilliant idea. Um, but I, like I said, I think mine's not working and we'll get to that in one second. So it's a little, it's so tiny. I mean, you eject your battery, you bury this thing down deep in your quad, you eject your battery, you still gotta have some noise coming from that thing so you can find it. So there you go. So. Let's take a look at this guy. So like I said, I was having some problems. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run five volts to this thing and we're gonna see if we can't, uh, if it, if I was doing something wrong, 
or whatever because I hooked it up last night and I tested it and it it did its beep beep thing and I got it to deactivate by uh, unplugging it and plugging it and I'll show you that again in a second let's get some solder on these wires here so the buzzer negative we don't need for testing again that's just this makes it standard buzzer let's just get some power and some ground in here so we're gonna hook our ground up now for those of you out there that hate when I do this kind of stuff I apologize but uh, for me I'm comfortable I don't recommend you playing with power you know uninsulated and all on your own but whatever so here we go this is how we're gonna test it so when you activate your quad all right so it's gonna do that it's gonna make its a little initial tone and now it's just your quads turned on this is hooked to the buzzer negative a negative and your positive on your flight controller uh, it's gonna be just like this so when you flick your switch for your buzzer or if you have an RX loss or whatever you set for your standard buzzer tones in beta flight or butterfly or whatever this line is gonna get the signal and it's gonna make it buzz okay so that's that that's that feature now the cool feature is right now that this battery is getting some juice in it so it's gonna have some juice if it your battery disconnects okay so now the, it's like a battery disconnect can you hear it all right now speed this up and we'll get to the buzzing part and you can kind of see how long it takes it does take a couple seconds Okay, so there you go. I think that was about 45 seconds or a minute. All right, so now we're buzzing. And you'll get this for a while. So see, you can see it's buzzing. It's not connected to anything, so the battery's working. Now, when you pick up your quad or you find it, when you plug your battery back in, it will stop the buzzing. So now you plug your quad back in, it does its thing. Now it stops buzzing. Now. Let's say you land your quad and you go to deep, you go to just unplug your battery. It's going to start that clicking again. From now, what you're supposed to do to deactivate it is you just do a quick power up and a power down. So if I just touch this. All right, there we go. You heard the little dee -dee, it deactivated. Now for some reason, when it was plugged into my quad, it just wasn't working. So let's try this again. We're activated. Now it just deactivated again. Hopefully you can hear the beeping. Plugged in. We're flying around, flying around. Battery ejects. All right, now we're clicking. All right, now it deactivated again. For some reason, I don't know what it was, if it was a power problem or whatever, but mine does. Okay, so it works. So now I know it works, no problem. So now it's cool. So the Hellgate buzzer, it's super cool super cool i don't know why i couldn't get it to stop beeping on my drone but we'll look at that again so again plug your quad in your buzzer's going now you get that clicking it starts the countdown or let's say you're flying around flying around unplug your battery plug it in see now i see how it's not deactivating All right, so there you go. Now this is recreating my thing. You see me deactivate it twice. Now it's not deactivating. See, this is what happened. Now we're not getting no deactivation. Okay, so Chris, from the future, here I play with this a little longer. If you're having trouble getting this to deactivate, um, let it go. If, if you're doing the, the deactivation trick, so it's not working again, leave it connected for you know a minute or so, just and then it should deactivate itself 
or you should be able to deactivate it. it it's a pain in the ass but it's a cool feature I, I don't know you have to weigh that out on your own it's up to you your call uh, you know if you just leave it there we go now I got it to deactivate so if you do it too like if you do it too kind of quick it won't deactivate you might you have to let it sit for a little bit uh, but yeah that's it all right thousand subs uh, link will also be in the description for that go check that video out I'm gonna give away a drone real soon uh, and we're gonna get back into some more technical reviews and stuff they're coming I got a bunch of product and a bunch of stuff I got a DOA rotary controller or maybe not a DOA but some problem the gyro is not recognizing so we got things that happen again thanks for watching go uh, like comment subscribe on that video maybe win yourself a drone I made it to a thousand so every subscriber out there thank you so much I appreciate it like you don't even know I was kind of getting discouraged there uh, you know it ain't like I earn any really a whole lot of money but it's nice to earn a couple dollars here and there for putting in all this work because it is a lot of work you YouTube guys out there it's a lot of work and I know I'm not even that good uh, but but there you go again thanks for all you subs coming the ones that I've had awesome appreciate it thanks for watching see you on the next one